It is a nice upgrade lots of RAM and storage space I did not require the LCD screen or the USB port because I send the logs and the flows to an external server keep in mind that to use this device you should have basic networking skills overall it is a good router. The RB4011 being one of the first hardware devices I have had from Mikrotik has been great. Setup with the web gear was pretty easy to follow. Shipped it to my colo rack miles away from me and had a issue with not being able to remote access via one port but with a text connecting a console cable it was easy to fix. Is currently holding a full IPv4 and IPv6 BGP session with no issues. The SFP plus cage work good with my 10 GBPS copper SFP plus. I have used DD with regards to based routers in the past as a way to have a feature rich device on lower price range. Experience was not that good. Finding the right firmware device balance was not that easy. Not a big fan of integrated Wi-Fi on the device. I understand we. Fee radios should burn on a different device to be replaced at different time at some point I moved to a Cisco RV325 that started well on a clean setup but performance started to degrade after enabling some basic features what I was looking for. Gigabit Ethernet VPN capable device VLAN support local DNS DHCP options this is my first Mikrotik device and I'm now a fan of router OS. The setup is more for the experienced ones but all the performance features and the fact that you can see all in real time is simply amazing. The device surpassed all of my expectations and I fell I'm just scratching the surface of options that are available on the platform. It is an amplifier for me one of the best that I have bought I would dare to say the best on the market the contribution good sound the era of real digital sound has arrived high res audio low tengo mana press speaker 13706.